There are four kinds of hominoids, just as there are four kinds of australopithecines and four kinds of early homos. It is their ancestors, the, ho the hominoids, that are the so-called pre-human ancestors. If you make that link, if you accept that hominoids are alive, and I go over a lot of proof in the book and in my presentation to show that, yes, there are hominoids out there. There's plenty of room. We have captures. We have killings. We have enslavements. Trust me, the hominoids are there. Your skunk ape here uh, in Florida. They're there. They really are real. So if you make that link that it's their ancestors, it means humans have no place in the natural flow of life on Earth. So then you have to ask the question, where did we come from? The X is not known, and I'ma give the proof. Castle seeking satellites, go into a groove to shoot, never rule. Mesopotamian story describe how human race was mixed with aliens. A Neil is born like the epic of creation. Never rule stands for the Galactic Confederation. More like the changes upon the solar system. Political shift in humanity in the fifth dimension. The dwarf star, it travels on its orbit. Red planet, solar beams, and nuclear bombs absorbs it. The signs of the wings is more like the disc of the rings. Moving counterclockwise when it's on its way. Now everybody's saying we're visiting eclipse of hell We're only feeling the effects in 2012 Well, just to know a solar system we are not alone You know what's gonna be on when Planet X comes the home The Sumerian, the first great culture that we have on the Earth 6,000 years ago Right out of the Stone Age, possessing over a hundred of the first that we attribute to a high society that are the very best of the ancient cultures Preceding and better than the Egyptian, Greeks, and the Romans In their writing, they said that there's another planet in the solar system that they called Nibiru that was captured and moves like a comet in a 3600 year orbit.